Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the flower and the fruit. A flower is called the reproductive organ of the plant. But we know a new plant is born from the seed of the fruit. Then how is the flower a reproductive organ? To understand this we need to know more about the flower. The flower is the most beautiful part of the plant. Most of the flowers have a stalk which joins it to the stem of the plant. This part is called the pedicle. You know the uppermost part of the pedicle is wider and it is called thalamus. On the top of the thalamus there are green leaf like structures which are sepals. And what is the function of sepal? A sepal protects the flower when it is in the bud stage because the flower is completely inside the sepal when it is in the bud stage. Next to sepal there is the most beautiful and the colorful part of the flower which is the petal. The petals are bright in color. You know the petal protects the inner parts of the flower and attracts the insects. Now why does the flower need to attract the insects? Let us understand this. If we remove the petals of the flower we would see the reproductive organs in the flower. First it is the stamen. The stamen is called the male reproductive part of the flower. Each stamen is made of a thin stalk called filament and a knob like part on the top of the filament which is called anther. And you know the anther produces a powdery substance called pollen. So we see stamen is the male reproductive part and it consists of anther and the filament. In the center of the flower rises a flask like structure which is the pistil or the carpal. You know the carpal is the female reproductive part of the flower. Let us see the structure of the pistil or the carpal in detail now. Look here. The base is little swollen and it is called ovary. Then there is a short tube like upper part which is called style and on the top of the style there is a hat like part which is called stigma. So now we know that the carpal or the pistil is the female reproductive part of the flower and it consists of ovary, style and the stigma. So here we see both the male and the female reproductive part in the flower, the stamen and the carpal or the pistil. You know in some flowers like we saw the hibiscus plant, the same flower has both the male and the female parts that is the stamens and the pistil or the carpal. In other plants the flowers has either the male reproductive part or, or the female reproductive part, not both. For example, in case of corn, papaya and pumpkin. See here, there is a pumpkin male flower and also there is a female flower in case of pumpkin. Now let us understand why the flower needs to attract the insects. When the color of the pistils or the scent of the flower attracts the insect, it sits on the flower and during that time the pollen grains may stick to its leg or the body and then when this insect goes to another flower of the same kind or sits on the same flower again, the pollen grain may get transferred to the stigma. This process is known as pollination. So the transfer of the pollen grains to the stigma of the pistil is called 
pollination. You know, after the pollination, the ovary swells up and turns into fruit wall which protects the seed. The ovule, which are bead-like structure inside the ovary, turn into seeds. The seed has baby plant as we all know. The embryo inside the seed is the baby plant. The embryo comes into existence after the pollination in the flower. Hence, we can say the flower is the reproductive organ of the plant. If we cut any fruit, we can see three distinct parts of the fruit wall that protects the seed. The outermost skin which we peel in many fruits is the exocarp. Then the next layer which we eat in most of the fruit is the mesocarp. And the innermost layer which covers the seed is the endocarp. So the exocarp, the mesocarp and the endocarp constitute the fruit wall. A fruit may have more than one seed like in tomato, lemon, watermelon, etc. So to sum up what we learned today, the flower is the reproductive organ of the plant. The stamen is the male reproductive part consisting of the filament and the anther. The carpal or the pistil is the female reproductive part consisting of the ovary, style and stigma. The insects help in transferring pollen from the anther to the stigma and after pollination, the ovule inside the ovary turns into seed with an embryo which grows into a new plant under the right conditions. That's all for now. Bye bye children.